All right, so if you guys remember, a little while ago, we checked out a video on this channel called the Heart Attack Grill. Now, do you know why it was called the Heart Attack Grill? No, it's not because the food was so good. It was to die for. It was a restaurant that served the most greasy, fattening food on earth. Shit that makes McDonald's look like a salad. They had a burger that was like this big, 10,000 calories. And I always wondered what type of a human could eat that food and what would they look like? Well, today I found that human and she is the heaviest woman alive. Yeah, and I know what you're gonna say, but beastie, you're fat too. You're damn right, I'm very thick delicious, but I've been on a diet, I've been exercising, I'm even 12 pounds lighter. Do I look thinner? Well, fine, asshole, you could have said it a different way, Jesus. World's heaviest woman, let's go. Jerk. 765 pounds. What? This makes you probably right up there with some of the heaviest women in the world. Oh, Lord! I know guys are into big butts, but she's got the whole market cornered. She's even growing a, an extra limb on the side. Oh, you try and clap those cheeks, they'll clap back and probably crush you. I would rather die than live this way. Poor woman. She did it to herself, though, for sure. Charity Pierce is believed to be the heaviest woman in the world. Believed to be? Housebound, her extreme size has put her life on hold, and now she's desperate for help. She fears time is running out to save her life and marry fiancé Tony, who is 17 years her... Fiancé? You mean she's getting married? Bless her soul, this man is brave. Oh my God. How do you let that happen? She's got a wheelchair the size of a bus's seat for like holding nine people just to take her outside. Oh my God. Her legs are so swollen, her shoes barely even fit. How do you do that? I'm sorry, food's good, but it's not that good. I'm scared of losing her. You can't possibly lose her. She's kind of hard to miss. I'll stop. Yeah, I'm going to hell. Get this Charity has weighed over 500 pounds since her early teens. Doctors have urged her to diet and exercise. But an accident in the year 2000. Look at that leg. Oh my God. You know it's bad when the couch is covered in leg. I feel so bad for her, but I know she's done it to herself. Like, it's impossible to get that big off of chicken and rice and broccoli. Severely hampered her mobility and- The little legs! Oh, 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 this, oh! How do you get that obese? Good Lord, lady! Her, her pride when a lymphedema developed. And I just got embarrassed going outside and because of course everybody would look at me. Charity now longs for a gastric bypass surgery, which will stem her insatiable appetite. But the operation can only be performed safely if she loses 200 pounds herself. To help shed some pounds off, Charity- You know it's bad when a doctor could take his hands, spread them out, and then move rolls of fat and explore the dark areas the sun don't shine. That is so sad. Look at her. Oh, I'm not eating. I am never eating again. I don't care how good food is. I will never put anything in this mouth that has more than 100 calories. Charity is trying to exercise more and is on a diet exercise? restricting her to just 1,200 calories a day compared to her previous intake of 10,000. Or we'd have Chinese or we'd make chips and dip, tacos. Ice cream for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, you're speaking my language. I can't, I gotta go on a diet. I'm on one. like anything. For 18 year old daughter, Charlie, growing up was very different to other kids. Everyone else. 18? Good Lord, the mother's <laughs> rubbing off on her. Look, look at how big she is. Why do people do this? I was doing like other stuff and I was at home taking care of my mom. I'm DF, it's just kind of what's normal to me. And Charity's condition has had a serious effect on their relationship. I used to be really, really close to my mom, and now I'm just not at all. Like, it's constant fighting and arguing. 
because I'm getting to the point where I've done it for so long that it gets really easily to be frustrated and we just fight a lot. The couple dream of tying the knot soon, but Charity's mobility issues have overshadowed the wedding plans. So hold up, she's still planning on getting married at that weight. This is gonna sound cold, but if you're that obese, you should be planning for a funeral, not for a wedding. Your body's working hundreds of times harder than a normal person's body would have to work at that weight. Someone is feeding her, 100%. 10,000 calories a day? You cannot have that many calories on your own. She's not getting up, getting in the truck, driving down to McDonald's, you know what I'm saying? Either the boyfriend or her daughter is bringing that shit in by the bucket load. That is so I sad. I want a big wedding. I want to be able to fit into a dress. If I wanted to get married in my living room, I'd already be married. Cover that well, up, girl. While she and Tony <laughs> discuss venues, Charity tasks Charlie with hunting for the perfect wedding dress at David's See how fat Friday, the daughter is? where she feeds back her findings on video. I like this dress. It's my dream dress. It's really beautiful. It seems like you. Something you'd wear. I like that one. I also like the middle one, too. Those are the two that I thought you'd I like the most. Charity knows her wish will only come true if she can reach her target weight. Her physician, osteopath Ben Miller, is coming to check her progress by weighing her for the first time in four months. She needs to be able to prove that she can lose weight on her own. Are you ready for this, Charity? Yes. Ready to see. 765 pounds. This makes you probably right up there with some of the heaviest women in the world. Some of. For Charity, the news of only losing 22 pounds after four weeks of crash dieting is devastating. But Dr. Miller hopes the blow might motivate her. I don't want to be like this. <laughs> the thing is, like, she did it to herself. Like, she was the one eating all the food without thinking of the consequences. How do you go to the bathroom at that weight? She's 700 pounds. I know your average everyday run-of-the-mill toilet is not going to hold up a little elephant like that. That's impossible. How do you sleep? On your back like this? Like, I, so many normal things in life would be nearly impossible at that weight. Forget going outside. Just using the bathroom would be a pain in the ass. And taking a bath? How does she take a bath? Someone probably has to sponge bath her outside with the garden hose. I don't want to be like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sad. I would rather die than live this way. I really thought my weight would have been down a lot more than that. As hard as I worked. Oh, oh you worked hard, all right. Your jaw muscles over there just chomping through 10,000 calories a day. My jaw would have been sore after all that eating. Holy crap. But I do feel bad, though. Is this going to be straw that broke the camel's back or is this going to be the motivation you need to work harder look at her leg to continue with all the good change that you've made in your lifestyle already i'm not giving up good it's gonna take me longer obviously but i'm not giving up good lose weight it's possible anyone boogie you know, whatever it takes to get there right you know boogie That's he's losing weight have. it appears the lesson has paid off and Charity looks forward to the future with a positive outlook. I think anybody can be turned around with help. I think anybody has a chance with help. Whether it's losing weight, quitting smoking, quitting drinking, quitting drugs. I think anybody has a chance with help. It's very true. And it's a good thing she's got someone that's willing to support her through all of this. Her boyfriend that's still wanting to marry her. That's absolutely amazing. But, um... Yeah, I know I made a lot of jokes throughout the video, but it's, it's not a joking matter. I tell you what, man, humans avoid death at every cost, but you give them some food and they will eat themselves into suicide. The thing that's amazing, though, is at some point she got on a scale and looked down and saw 370 pounds and was like, oh, I put on a lot of weight. Do I stop? Nope. Where are the cheeseburgers at? There's no way to put on that much weight eating healthy. You don't just gain weight, breathing, existing, drinking water. You have to eat. So someone has been feeding her this whole time because at around 400 pounds, she was probably immobile already. So 
It's just so sad to see people allow themselves to get to that point of nearly no return before deciding, hey, I'm not immortal. I have to change. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below. Try and live healthy and peace out.